Hey and welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to look at how we can handle errors within our SwiftUI apps. So in our last video we actually looked at how we could call the API to actually make you know a post request and now that we actually have both the get and post request within our app we now need to look at how we can actually handle errors for when things go wrong. So first of all let's actually just see how we handle some kind of error by showing some kind of alert in our app for our people screen first and then we'll actually look at how we can handle it for our detail screen and then finally our create screen. So if you actually watched my previous video in the SwiftUI sessions playlist on alerts or if you have experience with alerts you'll essentially know that we need some kind of source of truth to tell our view to handle presentation of this on the screen. So in our view model let's actually add in two new properties for handling this now. So we'll first of all start off with our people screen. So let's go into our people view model and then at the top here, we actually want to create two new properties for holding whether there has been an error and the actual error for what has gone wrong. So let's do that now. So we have our first property here, which is of type, you know, network manager error. So it's going to hold any errors that go wrong from our networking manager. And then we also have our property here has error, which is what's going to use to toggle showing any alerts on the screen. We need to update these properties when things go wrong. So in our failure case right now, we actually don't have anything. We're just basically printing out the error. So rather than doing this print instead, let's actually set these two new properties. So we want to set the has error to true. And we also want to set that our error to what has gone wrong. So let's do that now. So now we're saying that when something goes wrong, we're going to set has error to true. And we're also going to assign the error with the error that we get back from our closure. So we now need to actually tie this to our view by using the alert modifier. So let's go into our people view. And then after our sheet, let's actually use the alert modifier. And the alert modifier that we want is the one where you have the is presented, the error and the actions. So let's use this one. And the is presented is going to be bound to the has error property within our view model. So we're going to need the dollar sign has error like so. And then the error that is going to be displayed is the view models error. So we're just going to say VM dot error. And then finally, our action here is the button that you go see on the screen. So by default, you'll actually get a button that says OK. But what I'm going to do is actually add in a button, which is a retry. So we're just going to create a retry button like so. And then the action within this button is going to be the same action that we use to fetch users like so. Perfect. So now when you've done this, you should realize that you actually now get an error and the error here is saying that we can't use the property that we created error because it doesn't conform to localized error. So what does this mean? Well, essentially what it is saying is that it's not using this protocol. So when something goes wrong, it can't grab the description from the error and present that to the user. So an easy way to fix this is by simply making our networking error conform to this type. So we go into our networking manager and we just look for our networking error. Rather than it being of type error, we actually want to change this to be of type localized error like so. And if we build this, you should see that it now succeeds. So this is great. So now let's actually just test this out. So in order to test this out, you could just simply mess up the URL. So in our people view model, we're just going to type an X in here just to basically mess up the endpoint because this doesn't exist. So in our people view, if we now run this, we should get an error and you'll see that we now get the alert with the error on the screen. But if you actually look at our error message that we got on the screen here, as a user, that doesn't really mean much to me. Like it isn't really descriptive. And also as well, um, we don't really have, um, you know, any kind of context to tell us that, you know, this is, you know, this makes sense. So what we can do to improve this is we can actually add the, you know, implementation over for localized error so that you actually get more of a human readable error telling you for what has gone wrong. So this is provided to us by overriding properties in localized error. So if you actually just go back into your um, networking manager. And if we actually just click into localized error to see the definition for it, 
So we actually have these different properties that you can use to basically describe to you um, as a user when they're using your application, you know, ways that they can either, you know, retry or what's gone wrong or, you know, a way to recover from the situation that they're in within the flow. Now, the one property that we're going for our alert is actually the error description. So let's go back into our code. And then within our networking manager file, we're actually going to override the error description for this enum. So let's just type out extension and then networking manager dot. So now within this error description, what we actually want to do is basically check depending on which case this networking error falls into return some kind of string. So let's just actually just type this out and then I'll break it down. So what we're saying here is depending on the case, you know, within this switch statement, we're going to actually provide these different strings to tell the user what has gone wrong. Now we do have this one here called custom. And what we're going to do is just use the localized description from the system. So let's just go back into our example that we had before on our people view. And then this time, if we actually just retry it, you'll now see that we get an error message that tells us that I actually failed to decode. So now you know that this fell into the case for the failure to decode the object. So this is more readable. You just need to reproduce this and just create this, you know, adding the exact same, you know, pattern that we've kind of done here for our detail screen. So let's just go into our people view model and we're just gonna simply copy these published properties. And then let's go into our details view model and then add them in like so. And then we're just gonna copy the uh, failure. So it's already weak self, which is good. Okay, cool. And then we just need to copy that same alert on our people view, on our detail view. And then rather than being fetch users, it's going to be fetch details. Cool, sweet. So let's just go into our people view model and so that we're not actually purposely breaking it. Let's just go, you know, remove that X and make it valid again. So we can actually access this detail screen. And then in our detail view model this time, we're actually going to add the X in at the end here to see it working. So if you go into your people view, Let's just remove this and then just see here. So we've got our people. If, we click, if you click into someone, you should now see that we actually get an error telling us that it falls within the wrong range. So we're actually now getting an error message that tells us something's gone wrong. So this is now working on our detail screen, which is pretty good. Cool. Okay, sweet. So now one thing that I've noticed is that even though you hit retry, there's actually no way for you to actually get off this. So to get around this, what I'm going to do is rather than having, we we'll just pin this rather than having that button in our detail view where you can retry let's actually just remove this so let's actually just remove our button from the closure and instead we'll just have it you know have no action so now when you click into it and something goes wrong we just get the okay by default you can hit okay and you can now go back to the previous screen to retry so you're not stuck in like a loop cool so now we've done this for our you know, people view, and we've also done this for our detail view. The next screen we need to handle this for is our create view. So let's go into our create screen. And then again, we're just going to copy the exact same pattern. So if we just go into our people view model, let's get our properties. And if we go into our create view model this time, we're going to just add this in here like so. Cool. And then now when our, you know, request fails, we're going to actually set it to, you know, have those has error and also the error. So we're going to just copy this. And then in here after the unsuccessful, we're going to set this. And then we simply just want to copy what we've done on our detail view model where we just show some kind of alert and just have the okay button to dismiss it. So let's go into our detail view. And then we're going to copy this alert modifier in our create view. And then after our unchange, we're going to add in our alert. So in our detail view model, we're just going to remove the X from here and just make sure the URL is fine again. In our create view model, this time, 
we're going to actually just add in the X here and then we'll test this out and see what happens. So let's hit the oh. So let's actually update this to match the error. So let's just say error like so. So now they both match. So now let's test this out. So now what we want to do is we just want to update this. So now we want this error to match this error here. So we're going to change this to error. Now in order to actually test this create one out, instead of us actually messing up the URL, instead I'm going to actually just turn off the Wi-Fi. So I've turned off the Wi-Fi. So this should now give me an error to tell me that I'm offline. So if we just hit resume and then we try to create a new person. So let's just do some typing. Doo -doo. You hit submit. You should now see that you get the alert telling you that something went wrong the internet connection appears to be offline. So now we get the system error message telling us in a human readable way of what has gone wrong. So this looks great. So now if we just turn this off, so if we just actually turn, well, turn it back on, I should say. And now if we try to submit, when it connects to Wi-Fi, you should see it now works, so it's all good. So now we actually have error handling on all of our screens, and you can see that because we did it like nicely in one screen, all we have to do is just literally just repeat the same pattern for all of our different screens, so this is looking all good. So that's everything in this video. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really love to hear your feedback in the comment section below. Also as well, if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up, as well as subscribe to the channel and hit notification bell to get updates for whenever I release a new video. That's everything from me. I'll catch you in a bit. Deuces.